All right. So this one's going to be a little different. Um, I'm calling him Python this time. I uh, was tasked to make a bot, you know, because everybody trying to get that, that, that PlayStation. So I made this for my brother. I'm showing off a little bit. Just want to let him know the power of technology. Anyway, uh, so what we want to do is, you know, since everybody, you know, since it's sold out everywhere, it's, it's really tough to find the, the PlayStation 5. Um, so I'm making a bot that will not only find the product, but determine if it's available and wait until it's available. And if it is, buy it. Uh, I'm only going to show up to a certain point. Um, well, I'll show the code part, but yeah, I'm, I'm not going to actually show like, you know, because I got all my, my shipping and stuff information. But nevertheless, uh, this, this code will, will work. Um, I've tested a few times. You may have to tweak it for your purposes, but more knowledge, more power. All right, so let's do this. Um, I like to plan out what I'm going to do, especially in comments. So, so first thing, we want to sign into the site, right? Um, sign into site with the product. Uh, this can be used for anything that you want to buy. It, I mean, I've seen tutorials where they buy like Supreme stuff, you know, but in this case, it's something from Amazon here. So I also want to find the product and I do want it to be under a certain amount, you know, cause I don't, I don't want it to be, be too expensive. Um, yes, we'll, we'll get to that. And if the product, is not available, wait until it is available. Yeah. And we want to add, what, once it is, we want to add the product to the cart. And after that, we want to add payment information. Um, typically, if you already have an Amazon account, like you should already have this, but Yes, I don't know. I'm gonna put a ask asterisk. May not need it. Yeah. We'll see. Um, and after that, we want to check out the card. All right. So um, I like to use for for this where there's a automation module called Selenium. Uh, so from selenium, selenium, yeah, that's how you spell it, yeah. We want to import the web driver. Uh, this is what's actually going to run our browser. So it's actually going to pull up like a, I like to use Firefox. So it's going to pull up a Firefox web browser and we're, we're going to work from there. Uh, we also want to add commands or a way to add commands. So if we want to say, type something in the browser, uh, we will need the web browser or web driver dot common dot keys and we want to import keys, all right? And there's also another one for action chains, but I don't know if I'll be using that in this one. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, but it's also from WebDriver as well. Is it common? Yeah. Common action uh, chains. Import action chains. I, I don't think we, we need this one too, so I, I wanna maybe, yeah, we'll see. All right, and also to, uh, I'll save that for later. Ah, no, no, no. Um, in so if we want to get, say something ha happens, you know, uh, we do want to handle that. And they have a certain amount of ex uh, exceptions that can be, 
captured so that way your script or yeah the script just doesn't explode and you know just fail and, and you can't do anything about it so there are a couple uh three actually what is it element um not i think it's inter interactable i think yeah interactable exception there we go uh no such element so in case we can't find anything um it's we can handle that too so uh th this will be useful for when we're trying to find if the product is available uh th there are a few ways that, that that we can check that um and of course stale element reference exception i think that's it yeah all right now when whenever we're whenever you're uh importing we're not importing but just doing things on the web you you don't want to appear too much as a bot at least if you're smart um there are uh checks that can pinpoint that activity so if you're just blazing through all of the uh the web pages then it's going to be obvious that you're a bot and they're going to block your ip address um, another thing too, web pages take a while to load, uh, maybe not too much time, but it's, it's the computer can run a lot faster than a website can load. So you want to give it real time to do that. And we want to import, I don't think I'll use random by itself, but let's, let's put this as a case. Okay, so right off the bat, I want to have some global variables. Uh, so now the thing is, I already know that the PlayStation 5 is not available. Um, so I want to have two URLs, one where I'm testing a use case for it being available and another test case for it being available. So in this one, this is the actual link here. I'm gonna get the link. Let's see, boom, bam, yeah. Oh, it's already in. Cool. All right. Yeah, there we go. All right. And I want a, another one. Let's call it test uh, URL where we get the. Uh, now, this one's just going to be the, the PlayStation 4. I mean, I already know it's okay, but I'm just, just testing shit things so let's see um all right and of course i when it comes to this time uh we we want to wait a specific amount not a specific amount of time but i want to have like a base parameter um this is in like seconds so yeah let's do uh, seven seconds for i like to create some random stuff, just uh, random formulas, just so it's, it, it, it's not a constant wait time. It picks between one integer and another. So the max, we're just going to make that, or just a variable seven. Um, we can change it later, depending on um, how everything is. So we're going to create our class, Jack or Shop. Yeah. All right, so this is Python syntax. So we can really instant or uh, create a class pretty, pretty, pretty easily here. We do want to have our constructor um, or initializer, which is still a constructor ish. Um, so in this case, we want to have the username and password. So I'm not going to actually put it in here. We're just going to call whenever we call this class you will have to put your username and password. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to come back to that. <laughs> uh, Cause I want you to see my goodies. Anyway, uh, so we want to, here, I actually wanna put um, some notes. So this initializes, uh, let's see. There we go. It's 
gives it a description in case we need to look at it.